Hello everyone, welcome back to my art channel. Today I'm going to create a sketch with the theme of cherry blossoms. I know spring is almost coming to an end in the UK, but if you love cherry blossoms and would like to create artwork like this, I think you would enjoy this video. In this video, I will share with you the simple steps for drawing cherry blossoms and how you can create a more intricate cherry blossom illustration using custom brushes. If you follow my other videos, you know that I love to use brushes from the Brushes for Procreate app. However, after a quick search, I couldn't find a brush stem for cherry blossoms. So I have decided to make my own custom cherry blossom brush stem. I put the link in the description below and feel free to check it out. If you are interested in drawing each and every cherry blossom, you can also follow these simple steps. So first, lightly sketch a small circle for the center of the flowers. Draw five equ equally spaced small circles around the center for the petal tips. Connect each outer circle to the center circle and cuff lines to form heart shaped petals. Draw a few short lines radiating from the center of the stems. Add tiny circles or dots at the end of each stamen line. And then you can add a few curve lines from the tip of each petal towards the center to give a vein appearance. We are ready to color the uh, flowers now. Use pink or soft pastel color for the petals and a darker shade at the base of each petal. Color the stamens with yellow or light greens or whatever colors you think that fits. If you value your time or feel you have limited skills for creating complicated illustrations, these brushes will make your creative process much easier. Let's see what we can create using these brushes. In my previous video, I spent too much time outlining the artwork. Therefore, in these videos, I want to see how much time I can save by simply using these custom brushes. This brush pack comes with 15 different cherry blossoms brushes, making it easy for me to pick and choose which one to use. I have a rough concept of how I want my illustration to look like. So the first step is to position the cherry blossoms using the brush stem. I can adjust the size and the shape of the cherry blossom stem. I create a new layer for each stem because it is easier to color between the brush stem and I can decide which branch should appear in the front and which in the back. If you use only one layer for all the brushes, I think it's hard to erase the overlapping outlines and you might end up taking more time. These brushes turn out to be better than I thought. Even though it takes me some time to create these brushes and I think it's worth the time because I can save it for future use. Now I will add clouds in the background as well. Once I have created the outline, it is time to color the illustration. To easily identify each branch of the cherry blossom, I have selected a few shades of pink to prevent all the cherry blossoms from looking the same. This is the color palette I use. 
The challenge of using the、uh, cherry, cherry blossom brush is that it is easy to get confused about which layer I'm on. Therefore, having each brush them on a separate layers helps me to track which cherry blossoms I'm coloring. But even though I managed to save some time from outlining the artwork, but it actually still take me some time to color each and every single cherry blossom. And speaking of spring, I've been thinking about doing a whole series on seasonal illustration. Will you guys be into that? Like we could do summer sunsets, autumn leaves, and snowy winter scenes. Let me know in the comments what you think. But I think recently I've been drawing a lots of flowers illustration, and my focus is to make more scene art or some art that is comforting and maybe look nice to use them as war art. Well, we're gonna do some speed painting now. Well, it's gonna take some time to color each and every flowers. I've been designing my own custom brushes lately. I was just wondering whether you guys are interested in learning making your own custom brushes. Personally, I find it really fun and interesting because I can design the、uh, brush. Myself and use it in the future, and normally it save more time in the future, and I can use the same brush using to design different kind of illustration. Let me know in the comment if you want a separate video to learn how to make your own custom brushes. Now I would like to add a few cherry blossoms in the background to create depth and dimension in the illustration. We are almost done. The last step is to color the、uh, character. This illustration shows a girl celebrating spring and feeling excited to run through the、uh, cherry trees. The colors of the illustration should be uplifting and vibrant. However, I still want green to be the primary primary color. This is simply for the branding, but feel free to color this in your own style. With this brush, your artwork will look more intricate and professional, adding a level of detail and refinement that enhances the overall quality for your illustration. Before completing the illustration, I decided to change the shape of the cloud. Tada! This is the final piece. Thank you all for joining me today and following along with this illustration. Until next time, happy drawing and keep creating.